This is an Antutu version 8 benchmark comparison between the ASUS ROG Phone 3 and Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, both rocking Qualcomm's latest and greatest Snapdragon 865 Plus processing chip, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra and Oppo Find X2 Pro, both housing the vanilla Snapdragon 865, and the cheapest phones of the bunch, the Realme and Redmi X7 Pro and K30 Ultra respectively, both housing the Dimensity 1000 Plus chipset. All of them have been updated to their latest available software, and we have Android 11 on the Oppo Find X2. Pro, though it is in beta stages. We have 12 gigs of RAM on the ROG Phone Note 20 Ultra and Oppo Find X2 Pro, all with LPDDR5 RAM. The Xiaomi also has LPDDR5 RAM, though I have the 8 gig of RAM variant. And the Realme and Redmi both have LPDDR4 X RAM, though the Realme has 8 gigs of RAM and the Redmi has 6 gigs of RAM. All devices here have UFS 3.1 storage, except for the Oppo with UFS 3.0, and the Realme and Redmi both share the same UFS 2.1 one storage. All smartphones here has a 120 hertz refresh rate panel besides for the ASUS ROG Phone 3 which can go all the way up to 160 hertz. Though we're going to keep it at 144 hertz since that's what comes out the box and 160 hertz is pretty unstable where 144 is fully stable. All devices are native Full HD Plus however the Samsung and the Oppo both have an option for QHD Plus though the Samsung can only be used at Full HD Plus when 120 hertz is enabled so we're going to drop down the Oppo to Full HD Plus as well. In order to boost performance, we have X mode using max performance on the ROG Phone Game Launcher and high performance mode on the Samsung Game Turbo using max performance modes on the Mi 10 Ultra, Game Space using competition mode on the Oppo and the Realme, and Game Turbo on the Redmi K30 Ultra. They have all been updated to the latest Antutu version 8.4.7. This is Technic, and without further ado, let's go. We're gonna start here by checking the battery percentages and battery degrees in Celsius at the start of the test, as well as the CPU degrees in Celsius at the start of the test over here. We'll compare this again at the end of the run. We're making sure that all the game or high performance mode options are indeed enabled before we get going with the test. And at the bottom of the screen, I will be saying if it is sped up or 100% real time. It's currently sped up, now it's 100% real time so that you guys can see how fluid all the devices are running the first part of Antutu version 8.4.7 here no stutteriness going on on any of the phones they're more than capable of running the first part of Antutu version 8 they all look stunning with their incredible AMOLED panels though the 1 billion colors using an OLED panel on the Mi 10 Ultra truly does stand out compared to the others and its minimal bezels is also great though the smallest amount of bezels is definitely seen on the Note 20 Ultra it is definitely my device of choice but seriously expensive the two phones all the way on the right are ridiculously cheap at around $300 so it'll be really interesting to see how they compete in version 8 over here of Antutu. Second part of here, once again, no judderiness over here, no stutters, everything looks nice and smooth. But the third part over here, the terracotta soldiers here in China in a province called Xi'an. I've actually been there. It's a really beautiful place if you guys ever want to go check it out. And talking about Antutu over here, you can see there are a lot of stutters going around on all devices over here, not just the Dimensity 1000 Plus chipsets on the right hand side. Yes, they are running 7 nanometer technology where the other four on the left hand side with Qualcomm's processing chip are running 7 nanometer plus technology. They're just slightly more efficient and they are definitely better at performance and updates. However, the dimensities have really impressed me with regards to speed tests and Antutu runs as I'll show you guys in a bit when we get to the results as well as the heat management. We're going to skip through to scrolling effects over here to compare the 120 hertz panels on all devices and 144 hertz on the ROG Phone 3. I'm going to slow them all down so that you guys can see a bit of a difference but because I started the devices at different times over here they won't be all on par. So the three phones on the left over there you can see the ROG has slight more ghosting than the other two devices at 120 and the other 120 hertz panels on the right hand side the cheaper panels with the Realme and Redmi look pretty on par with the rest of them. When it comes to battery drain the ROG phone dropped the least with just minus five percent but it does have the biggest battery over here so it hits a whopping 20 milliamp hours per minute of drain where the Samsung dropped by minus 6% though it actually had the best milliamp hours per minute due to its smaller battery in relation to the percentage dropped. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra, Oppo Find X2 Pro, Realme and Redmi all dropped by 7% but the devices with the worst milliamp hour per minute reading is 21 on the Xiaomi, Realme and Redmi with the Oppo just in between those devices and the Samsung. When it comes to battery heat dissipation over 
over here the hottest device overall was the realme x7 pro with a whopping 43.4 degrees in celsius and the coolest was the samsung with 39.7 degrees in celsius though the oppo only added six degrees in celsius throughout the test where the redmi added 8.3 degrees in celsius throughout the test adding the most in degrees celsius here when it comes to cpu heat dissipation the hottest phone was indeed the rog phone 3 with 49 degrees in celsius and the coolest was the note 20 ultra with just 40 degrees the rog also added the most in degrees celsius adding nine throughout the test where the samsung was the least adding in degrees celsius only adding six degrees and the rest of the devices were around seven and eight with the redmi not being applicable over here since i still cannot figure out why antutu will not measure its temperature when it comes to the cpu the xiaomi mi 10 ultra was first place with almost 650,000 points the highest i have ever seen in antutu version 8 second place was the rog phone with a better snapdragon 865 plus processing chip compared to the vanilla one on the mi 10 ultra the rog phone got 628,000, so not far behind that though it's still disappointing to see that the newer chip isn't performing as well as the xiaomi i'm just not quite sure if xiaomi had anything to do with this result the oppo came in third place with just under 600,000 and just underneath that was the Note 20 Ultra. Once again, a vanilla Snapdragon 865 on the Oppo beating the 865 Plus on the Samsung with also 595,000 points with just a few digits difference over there. Fifth place is indeed the Realme X7 Pro with over 500,000 points over here. It's interesting to see since it has the same MediaTek Dimensity 1000 Plus chipset as the Redmi K30 Ultra. Though the K30 Ultra was around 20,000 less points over here. The Xiaomi got awarded the best CPU and the Redmi got awarded the worst CPU. The Xiaomi once again best GPU over here and the worst GPU this time awarded to the X7 Pro. Best memory gets allocated to the Oppo Find X2 Pro and worst memory once again to the Redmi K30 Ultra. Worst user experience once again to the K30 Ultra and best user experience over here the Asus ROG Phone 3. Though the Dimensity chipsets on the Realme and Redmi did not perform the best in this test, they are a fraction of the price compared to the other devices over here so i have to give it to them for that i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as i did making it this is technic and i'll see you in the next one